beautiful day here in Juneau. It's Sunday and it's like super, super sunny for a Sunday. And we're happy. There's a cool little park over here. But one of the kids threw a bunch of uh, bear spray on it. So the slides are out of commission, maybe until further notice. You have to drive slow to kind of take it all in, but there's just so much nature going on and these trees are starting to look like fall. This is what Juno and the fall looks like. Well, it's not quite fall yet. Late, late summer. Hey everybody, how's it going? So I'm just gonna go check out some things here. I heard that there's like this place called Perseverance that uh, has a bunch of cool things to look at. So I'm just gonna go do like an initial look. I'm not gonna do like an extensive uh, explore of this place because this is gonna be roughly the first time I've ever been there. So we're just gonna go check it out maybe for like an hour and then we'll, we'll go. So anyway, let's go. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. Does it here? Juno. Passing Juno Douglas high school, home of the crimson bears. Yeah. Heading up the hill. Holy moly, this is steep. Is this the right road? I don't know if this is the right road. Yeah, that wasn't the right road. The thing about these streets is they are one way mostly. So you got to turn around somehow and it's like turning around sometimes is impossible. Try delivering pizzas on these roads. I almost bought one of these houses up here. But wasn't meant to be oh yeah here it is up this street we're going like all the way up the hill no wonder why i didn't want to do this beautiful look at this old bridge we're going across isn't that wild whoa i should probably be walking like these other people here uh, I guess we'll drive for now. So it looks like this is on the other side of the river of the Flume Trail that we explored earlier. So we're going to see what this side of the river looks like this time. And it looks like I'm not the only one who drove in. So not so I don't feel so bad now. A lot is going on here. Looks like the Last Chance Mining Museum is ahead. And uh, the Perseverance Trailhead. We're probably not going to go hit up that trailhead because it's 15 miles. Or actually, it looks like it's 15 minutes from here, maybe, walking. But anyway, I think I did it once, and it was a little bit of a long hike. So we're probably not going to do it today, but maybe some other day. A lot of activity going on around here. Oh, yeah. Dang, a lot of people here. Hopefully we can find a place to park. When you're going down these long roads and you see a bunch of cars, you're always wondering like, well, should I park now or should I wait till later? Or should I see how things go? Well, it wasn't too bad, but we found a place to park. So let's go check it out. That view, look at that, it's insane. Cliff just goes all the way up. I think the last time I was here, I was here all alone. So seeing all these people here is kind of a new welcome for me. Wow. It's like a steam generator of some sort. Maybe. I 
It's up this trail. So there's like this creepy old mine up here. You can feel the cold air coming out of it. Imagine getting up in the morning and going to work in there. No thank you. I don't think I'll be going to work in there. Trying not to trip. Didn't really wear the best shoes. Last Chance Basin. Maybe we should go check it out. To museum. What time is it? I think we made it. Today's Sunday. Admission $5. Might be able to come up with a $5 bill here. Of course, we have to somehow make it through this treacherous trail without tripping with these crappy shoes on. No, but seriously, I've been wanting to check out this museum pretty much the whole time I've been here for the last four years. I'm finally going to do it today. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Uh, did I take a wrong turn? Oh, this way. Okay, here we go. I was beating off the trail a little bit and happened to spot these really old train cars. Pretty awesome. They're just sitting here in the woods. And of course, they've had a lot of love throughout the years. Good times, right? Well, the track is still here. Wow. This one doesn't look like it's in as bad of shape. Either that or it's been a little bit restored. It's hard to know, but at least there's benches you can sit on. But gives you kind of an idea of how it would have been like to ride in one. Crazy. They got an area over here for doing some old time prospecting. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna go check out the museum though. I didn't know you could park down here. Otherwise I would have, you know, like parked down here. There we go. Whoa. If you could see this in person, it's just way more impressive. It's just like, whoa, all the way up. There we go. To museum. Oh, yeah. This is super exciting because this is the first time that I've come through here and that gate has not been locked. Because I've always been here off season. This is like first for me coming here like when it's been open. Whoa. We're going up there. This big old building that they built Apparently there was a whole lot more up there, but this is what's left. I was so excited that I couldn't get the dumb gate open. And there was a bunch of people behind me. And I think they started making fun of me, but they're from out of this country. So it's the magic oval. Dang, make sure you bring good shoes for this one. There's a piece of history. Some sort of car. Some wheels, some wood. Once again, wishing I was in better shape. Chucking up a hill. Woo!
This bench didn't quite make it. This is like super cool, well-maintained. Just looking around the building, kind of looking at some of the ruins. Some sort of like I-beam or something. It says railroad yard up this steep hill. I guess when in Rome, it's all just part of the experience. It seems one thing these mines do really well are these stairs. Plenty of them. Plenty of height up a steep hill. Lots of fun. Here we go. Oh, whoa, no way. I didn't even know this was here. Look at this. It's like a whole on line of these things. Whoa. Whoa. For people who love trains, holy... <laughs> yeah, that's a little scary. Especially when you're wearing the shoes that I'm wearing. Big old pipe right there going down. Wow. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of elbow grease. It'll be fine. Just got a few, few thousand dollars worth of parts. And uh, yeah, we have a run and ride no time. Maybe some body work. Yeah. That'll be a little extra. It looks like an old steam plant. Wow. Just rolled right up. And that's where it sat. Many, many, many winters later. Now it looks like this. Incredible. Wow. Definitely worth the trip up the hill. Wow, this one's even better shaped than the other one down there. It's like at one point they're rigged up with electricity. Yeah, where's the USB port at? Must be over here. Whoops. It's really hard to see, but there's this huge piece of machinery right here. I don't know what it was used for, but it looks like maybe it ran on a track of some sort. There's a couple more of these cars. It's like a different type of car though. Maybe it had a different purpose. I bet that other thing over there has to do with this. Yeah, same kind of configuration, steam. Pretty well intact. This kind of looks like the Treadwell ruins. Just really beat up. Overgrown. It's an old house over here. Let's check it out. Wow. I saw this big old piece of fire hose right here. I thought it was a snake. I was like scared out of my mind. Luckily, it's just a fire hose, and we are in Alaska, and those snakes aren't really over here. See a little friend over there. The little hedgehog.
This was the repair shop. Things still hanging up on the wall, ready to be repaired. Nuts. An engine in there. Looks like it was being repaired. I don't want to get too far in this stuff with my shoes. Seems like I'm always wearing crappy shoes when I'm exploring places. I think this is as far as I'm going to go on this trip. Nuts. So it's probably hanging, I mean standing, for several years before it collapsed. Maybe that was a recent occurrence. Nuts. At one point, this was a pretty cool little place to do repairs. Not so much in recent years. There's the museum down there. And then way down there is the river. And then way down there is the car. Trek through the woods. Hope we don't see any lions or tigers. Might see some bears. Oh my, I have to deal with hiking so far up a hill is then you have to backtrack and hike back. It'd be nice if there was like shuttle service or something that could shuttle you from the woods but isn't that wishful thinking looks like it's the same terracotta color they used to use in the navy that nuts here we go down the stairs again oh man Wow, that was really something to see. I mean, I was always hearing about this train system that used to be here a long time ago, and I was thinking, well, where are the tracks? Where are the trains? And, well, they're right up here, just all in ruins. Pretty nuts. It's hard to know, but is this an original? Kind of looks like it. Most people see this kind of stuff and they don't even think twice about it, but like, what was it for? It's like a big old piece of iron, just sitting out here. Just, what's it for? What is it? Like, what were these things made for? I'm pretty sure they weren't made for uh, the bathroom to keep people from falling off the little hill. Pretty interesting, huh? One more look up at the museum and up the hill. Well, I think we're going to come back and check out the museum another day. There's just a lot to see, and it would be hard to get it all into one video. Plus, they want $5, and it turns out I only had a $1 bill. I thought it was a 5 So I, I don't want them to have to have pity against me for not having enough money when I'm a local, and I do have enough money. I just didn't bring it right now. So anyway, we are going to call that a video. And I'm glad we got to see those trains. Pretty cool, huh? So make sure you like, subscribe, and if you leave a comment, that's awesome because I read all of them and it really helps me make more videos to be more motivated. Alrighty, everybody. We'll see you soon. Coming down the hill. Luckily, it seems like coming down the hill maybe isn't as hard as going up the hill. It's just that brake stepping, you know, it gets old. There it is. It's the magic oval again. Yay. I could spend a lot of time here just exploring some of these offside things. There's a bunch of people over here 
learning how to gold mine. Well, I guess at least use the sluice box and use the panning stuff. So that's pretty cool. All this time, I could have just taken the bus in, but who would have known? Who would have known? Looks like I came at the right time. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for AC.